Hi guys, Model Muppet here. How are you doing? Are you doing good? I hope you're doing good, because I'm doing good. If I'm doing good, everyone should be doing good. Anyway, I want to tell you a story. This is an old story, right? So you may well have heard this before. But there's two bulls at the top of the field. There's an old bull and a young bull. Down at the bottom of the field, there's a herd of cows. And the young bull says to the old bull, I'm going to run down to that field of cows and I'm going to fuck me a cow. And the old bull says to the young bull, well, I'm going to walk down and fuck them all. <laughs> now, there is actually uh, kind of a reason to this. In that, uh, with a game like this, I think the walk down and fuck them all approach is better than the run in and fuck one of them approach. Now, some of my mates kind of disagree with me on this. And some of them like to get a really kind of early start, you know, like go running in, see where they are, and kill them. Whereas what I like to do is sneak around, try and avoid conflict in the first few minutes of the game. And build up supplies and stuff. What do you think? Um, anyway, for me it works, for me it works well. Now, we had a, a nice kind of tactical moment coming up here. I knew there was somebody up there. Obviously, one of the teammates had highlighted them. We made Flibble, you can see, crawling around at the bottom there. Plan was he was going to come around from one side. I was going to come from the other after throwing a smoke bomb in. And as it turned out, we didn't need to <laughs> waste the smoke bomb because another mate got them. And it wasn't a bad little strategy, though, even though we didn't need it. But yeah, so at this point, we could have gone in through the middle windows. What I wanted to do though was come around oh, man, and get some gear. Now, just because you have a plan doesn't mean the plan is always going to work. Obviously. There we go. Me stating the fucking obvious again. <laughs> Turned out to be a good match, this. Good now, job. I'd been needing melee kills for my mission objectives, uh, melee downs. And I needed to get nine melee downs, and in the first game, all done. Let's go. I, oh man, I just couldn't find a, a bit of wood. Um, first two games, in fact, I couldn't find a bit of wood, so I was really sort of struggling at this point. I forget exactly how many I needed, but I think at this point I only had two melee downs or something. Uh, and I had tried crafting the machete, and guys, I've got to say, uh, I'm not a fan of the machete. I don't know how you guys are getting on with it. Oh, sorry, I'm just having a coffee. And that is a nice coffee. I do like my coffee. Yeah, I just wasn't getting away with the machete. Uh, now, here I was having one of those typical situations. I'm sure you guys have had them as well. Get shot, go and heal yourself, and then you get shot from somewhere else. Totally different direction. Call over to where two teammates are. And one of them's been given covering fire, and he's pulling back to revive me. And my other teammate who keeps insisting that there's no need for microphones in games isn't and I get blown up so yeah not a very good start <laughs> not a very good start at all um, I think this game is worthwhile putting the whole lot of the that's it I'm, I'm gonna chunk off the last five minutes of it but the next five minutes or so is where the action really starts to take off and I start to do something good um, while I'm on this subject I've asked this a couple of times but no one's really given me any answers would you like to see just highlights of games or do people like to see you know the full match the good the bad and the ugly personally i kind of think it gets a bit boring just seeing somebody doing well you know which if anyone can just upload montages of themselves just killing people and it doesn't really tell you much about the gameplay it's just an endless series of people killing people so my personal preference would be to show, you know, at least say 10 minutes of a game that shows how you got to that point, if that makes sense. So I think other people can learn more about strategies and whatnot. Anyway, I decide it's about time that I need to get myself some killing going on and I need to get some melee downs. One of my friends needs to get some executions, so I'm quite happy to let him get executions. Oh, by the way, um, Scotty, West Ham, if you guys are watching this, 
uh, and Dane Pack, thanks for letting me get some executions in an earlier game to complete the mission objectives. That's a great thing with playing with teammates um, who you know and who are on microphones because you can say to them, look, I need to get this certain objective. This is what I need to let you, you know for you to do to help me. And they help you. Ouch! Have it. Yeah, that was dead. Now this bit here. I was trying to get to it if I had my mate Flibble. And this is the problem. I couldn't get past this guy to do it. I wasn't bothered about getting the execution. I was trying to get my mate reviving. And I just couldn't get past him. So apologies Flibble. We did discuss this in game. But hopefully now you'll see <laughs> why I was having such a problem. Well you did say you could see me getting stuck. Do love the tension in this game. I do love the tension. Like, I know there's people around, and the thing is, you know, do you craft something? Do you try and run away? Do you just go in without crafting? Now, I know I could have shipped in there, but like I said, I needed the melee downs, so I didn't. Bomb coming in, stumble back, you can see more red dots going on. Very intense, it was very intense at the time. Oh, we just see this guy sneaking up to the side. Can I get him? No, I can't. <laughs> I can get him now, though. <laughs> I'll learn you. You're schooled. <laughs> and again, just awesome round for melee kills, this one. Stay down, bitch. Plenty of goodies for me to feed my people. I uh, can't remember how many I've got at the minute. I've got about 90, I think. Most of them are hungry because I've been having some not great games. So most of them are hungry. I think at this stage I've got all the melee kills I need. Uh, just watching this on playback, I've got no idea why I didn't upgrade my pistol there. No idea. Anyway, never mind. We live and learn. Now the build that I'm using has my points invested in Brawler and in Crafting and Covert. I can't remember exactly whether you know how many points in each, but that's roughly how it is. And I find that being able to craft a lot, give people presents, generally speaking, it means that I can get my armor quite early and can make some decent stuff, you know? Um, I'd recommend that as a loadout if you're looking for melee kills. At this point, I'm just thinking, where the hell is it all? Where's it all happening? Getting people reporting action upstairs, people reporting action downstairs, and didn't know where to go. Now I know where to go, though. One day. Have it. You really should have been looking at your mini map, mate, because I was sprinting at you there. That fucker's dead. Bastards. They must be on their last leg. <laughs> and again. One less uniform. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm I'm gonna make this an end now because um there was still quite a few minutes of gameplay, but it was just it was mainly we went around the map collecting all the bits that we hadn't picked up. Uh, I can't remember how the last oh, really kill happened, nice. but I don't think it's anything exciting. Anyway guys, do let me know what you like to see. Full games, or just the highlights and stuff. And also, you know, if there's any loadout questions you have or stuff like that, feel free to ask. Uh, this is Muppet Out. Take it easy guys, thanks for watching. Bye!